We are at the Mays Clinic in Harrison, New York, a suburb of Westchester outside of New York City. The Mays Clinic features Dr. Michael Warner. He's a dual board certified urologist. Uh, he helps with fertility, sexual health, and hormone replacement therapy, which is the primary reason I originally saw him was hormone replacement therapy. Now, having had my son through IVF, uh, I also saw him for fertility related stuff. Uh, they have Westchester Sperm Bank. They are a class act. Uh, Dr. Warner went to Harvard. He also has a physician's assistant, Nick Cannon, who's incredible. And today we're gonna go get my DEXA and my RMR, my DEXA scan so I can see my bone density, muscle mass, body fat, visceral fat, uh, and the RMR is a resting metabolic rate so we can see exactly how many calories I burn when a complete sit still. So for today, all I've had so far, I had some egg whites four hours ago and uh, I drank plenty of fluids because you have to be fasted for this bad boy. So we're gonna go in now and get those done. And this is a full concierge doctor. I mean, everything, VO2 max, DEXA, RMR, the works you can get done here at Mays in Westchester. So I didn't realize I was gonna get my labs done today, which is fine again, because I'm fasted. That, remember, those egg whites, I had those now about four and a half hours ago. They've cleared my system. The only reason I had the egg whites, that is a hack I use when I have to wait to get labs or I have to be fasted for a prolonged period of time during my day, because one, I'm able to get protein and then I'm not like just starving to death. But because there's no cholesterol, because there's no saturated fat, because there's no carbohydrate, it's not gonna spike my glucose, it's not gonna affect any of my labs. So I might as well be fasted for these labs. And mind you, it was four hours ago. And as soon as we get done with all my testing today, my labs, VO2 max, DEXA, I'm gonna chug some more egg whites and then get a real meal. And finally, today we'll get my labs, full panel, they'll look at my apolipoprotein B, very particular lipid marker that you really wanna be have tested. Obviously standard labs like A1C, uh, LDL, liver markers like AST, ALT, and then of course I'm on TRT. So these are standard panels, but really important if you're on TRT. Creatine, not to be confused with creatine, those are two separate things, bun ratio. And then a lab like this, they're smart enough to know that they wanna look at my GFR as well, my GFR even perhaps with cystatin A, because sometimes when you're on a high protein diet, that can affect your kidney panels and uh, they can give you a false positive. So making sure that you get those additional tests is necessary. That's what a, a service like Maze does and why I just, I recommend all my clients in the tri-state area. My name is Jacob Zemer and I've helped thousands of people get in the best shape of their life. There are plenty of apps out there that focus on your training or your nutrition or even your health. However, very few apps address all three aspects. And in order to get in the best shape, you must address all of them. For that reason, my app has an educational program that will teach you about preventative health, blood work, cardiovascular activity, along with providing custom training for as many days as you can commit to and the exact gym equipment you have available. Also, so you will have a tailored nutrition plan based on your unique physiology. I wanted something that everyone could afford. All of this is available for $1 a day on my website. Right now, if you click the link in bio under app, there's a seven day free trial. I'm looking forward to helping you change your life. Matt, what's up, dude? How are you doing? How are you? Good to see you. I'm doing all right. Um, what are we doing today? So we're first gonna do a DEXA body composition scan. We're just gonna go right this way. And Beautiful. We'll get you started right now. Awesome. So I've been here before. I got my DEXA scan done. It was right before summer, so before Memorial Day. My body fat, like 19%, which I was not thrilled about. So for that reason, we're back here today. I think the body fat's gonna be closer to like 10% now. So that's my hope. But what I really wanna use this for it's because I want to get the results, and then based on the results, I will know how much more weight I have to lose. So this is really important because DEXAs have to be tuned to be correct. So you always want to get on a scale and see what you actually weigh. So they're approximately around the same. And so this scale is showing me at 233 pounds approximately. So then we'll be able to check and see if the DEX is actually tuned to that same amount. What we're gonna have you do is lie down. Your head's gonna be facing this way. I'm just gonna move your arms to make sure they're yeah. in the lines. Your palm's gonna be down. Kind of put a triangle with your feet. Yeah. The reason that we do this with your feet is that just opens up your hips and make sure that the scan gets the entirety of your body. All right, perfect. So we're gonna start the scan. It's about two minutes, right? The X-ray above you and the bed are gonna move. You just kind of stay as still as possible. 
All right, you are all set. Awesome. When you rotate your feet in internally the entire time, that's a little uncomfortable. Uh, obviously, you're just lying still for two minutes. It's not that bad, guys. I mean, there's far worse predicaments in life to have than having to uh, internally rotate your hips for two minutes. Here we have your results of your DEXA scan, comparing your DEXA results um, to uh, your previous scan. There was it. Um, and your scan in April when you came in, your body fat percentage was about 19%. Ugh. And now it's down to about 14.8%. Right, so we're under 15. I thought I was gonna be a little leaner just by the visuals, um, but you know what that means? If I look this fucking good at 15% body fat, what am I gonna look like at 10% body fat? So we got more to go. Yeah, you got a little bit more to go, but yeah. um, you know, you're obviously in a very strong spot. Great. Um, in terms of percentiles, so the YN category is young normal, so that's anyone who's 20 to 29. You would be in the fourth percentile, so if you were- wow. If you were 20 to 29 years old, you'd be in the fourth percentile. I'm not. Yes. Spoiler. Yeah. I'm in February, you can see it. Can see I could never tell, Jake. I could if, never you know, tell. You know what happened? I got married and I got all these fucking these gray hairs. I'm not going to comment on that. Love, my, love my life. Yeah. Love my life. And then, so for age match, for your yeah. uh, 44 now, you're in the first percentile. Yeah, I'm so. in the first percentile. My VO2 max, I'm actually in the top one percentile of 20 year olds. Uh, when it comes to body fat, I'm in the top four percentile. We need to fix that. We're going to be in the top one percentile of both. Those are kind of your uh, total fat percentages. Amazing. Um, one of the things that we did notice on your last scan um, was your visceral tissue um, was a little bit higher than we wanted. And that just yeah. has to do with the fact that, you know, genetically you carry almost all of your weight, your additional weight in your trunk. Always. Uh, and that's where kind of the most problematic fat tissue is. Yeah. They call it visceral fat, uh, that scores, things like this. Um, the more fat you carry in your trunk is obviously gonna be around your organs. So it's the most problematic. I have always been somebody I carry it in my face and I carry it in my stomach. Uh, I've actually gone down three inches on my waist through the course of this cut. I'm a 32.5 inch waist right now. I actually think I'm gonna be a 30 inch waist when this is all said and done when I get down to 10% body fat. Yeah, yeah, and the fact that uh, you know your waist size was lowered is also reflected in the DEXA scan because your numbers were all decreased by a very significant amount. Like all of the fat that you lost between now and April has been almost exclusively Amazing. in in your trunk area, um, and all of your scores, right? Your VAT mass, volume, and area; those are kind of the three big indicators. Are all very low. Um, like low risk, we're not worried about this at all. We're gonna get even lower though. Um, and by the way, not so much for in this aspect, we're always thinking health first, but in this one, a lot of this is vanity that I wanna get down to like 10% body fat, this is my business. Um, but in terms of these before, my visceral fat was actually, uh, for two of the scores, they were above 500, yep. which wasn't great. Yeah, which is it's considered getting to the problematic area. Yeah. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of other factors that play into it. Mm -hmm. um, but the fact that you're under 500 now, it means you're in a much better spot yeah. health wise. Love it. And we're just going to keep that trend continuing. This trunk uh, ratio, like a, or a percentile is 1.04. You were even saying for yourself, like you have a lower ratio of that because you're also keeping your legs, your abs. Yeah. So for instance, I have a higher body fat percentage, although we're not going to get into the exact details. Okay. It's pretty good, but good. It's, it's not as good as yours. Good. Um, but I tend to carry most of my fat in my hips yeah. and my butt. Yeah. So mine is lower than one. So 10 people who have, who store more of their fat kind of in their trunk have a, a ratio of about one and above. And then people who carry more in their hips and their thighs, et cetera, do it uh, below one. And there's nothing you can do about that, guys. This, this is a genetic... Uh, where you partition fat. Some people you see, they'll have like really fatty arms and they'll have a relatively normal torso. Other people that have skinny arms, skinny legs and have a very big belly. Uh, there's some people I've seen, met, you know, Brazilian women come to mind who have abdominals, but when they walk, they'll shake, they'll have cellulite. So where you partition is very heavily genetic. There are some things you can do, like if you were to get cosmetic surgery, lipo, in those particular areas, you can kill off fat cells in particular areas, so you're less likely to partition to those areas in the future. But outside of uh, some sort of surgical um, intervention, you carry fat where you carry it, and you lose fat. When you lose it, you'll lose it, particularly in those spots. Yeah, and you can actually tell, so this is actually a breakdown of each one of your arms and legs and yeah. trunk, right? For percentage, again, the numbers are so low, we're not problematic at all, but you're in the seventh percentile when it comes to young normal for your trunk. Yeah. Everything else is is five or below. Yeah. Right, so again. Uh, it, so that's really holding me back. Right, it just, shows, it just shows you that's where you carry it, right? That's it's so just funny. like kind of a, a, a 
another indicator of, of where you should. So interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we get into your lean indices, which is basically your muscle mass mm -hmm. compared to. Uh, so your lean height is essentially how much muscle you have compared to your height, right? Because yeah. we would expect someone who's seven feet to have more muscle yeah, just generally. So you're in the 97th percentile for young normal yeah. and the 96th percentile for age matched. Great, great. For appendicular lean height, so that's just doing your limbs, so that's just your arms and your legs. Yeah. The reason that we do that is this is a really good indicator um, as you age of how mobile you'll be and how great. fragile your bones will be, right? Great. The more muscle you have on your arms and legs, the more capable you're gonna be able to do things solo. So interesting. Um, and you're gonna be able to kind of avoid those risks of fall. You're in the 99th percentile on both, so you're crushing it right there. Top 1%, great, I love it. Okay, amazing, that's so good. Matt, this is so awesome. Uh, I am a little bummed that I'm at like 14% body fat. I thought I was gonna be closer to 10. I told you guys that today. Um, but you know what? What do we do? We just keep going. So uh, now I have a very strong goal coming up for these next couple months. Uh, before the new year, I wanna be 10% body fat. So we are at the end of October. I have plenty of time to drop the rest of this weight. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely, you, you guys are the best. Maze uh, here in Westchester is they're the utmost professionals. Um, you wanna get your body fat done. You wanna get your VO2 max done, RMR. They're incredible. If you have any sort of fertility, any sort of sexual health, or any sort of hormone replacement therapy, or think you may be a candidate for these things, you have questions that you just your primary care is not addressing, uh, they are the uh, most professionals, I have sent them so many clients and the reason that I continue to refer clients to them is because I never get any complaints. Everybody only has positive things to say about Maze. Uh, my name is Jacob Zemer. I've helped thousands of people get in the best shape of their life. Uh, I've been a coach in the Westchester area and have a digital business helping people change their lives. Real people with real careers, with real families, making a real change in their health and wellness. We put out long format content each and every single week at this channel. Some of it's us here at Maze, some of it's at the grocery store, in the gym, stuff that will actually move the needle in your health. So thanks for tuning in. Also, we're on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, uh, all short format content as well. So thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Hit subscribe and follow.